US News published their first ever rankings for best global universities for artificial intelligence. And the number one school is Tsinghua University in China. I've heard of this school before. It's one of the best universities in China, so it's not that surprising. I was a little bit surprised it wouldn't be a school from the United States, but uh, then I looked down. Then we have Nyang Technological University in Singapore, uh, University in Hong Kong, University of Technology in Sydney from Australia, another university in Singapore, Harbin Institute of Technology, never really heard of that one before, University of Adeline, University of Electronic Science Technology of China, also never heard of it in Chengdu. Next one is Peking University at number 9, and then we have University of Chinese Academy of Sciences number 10. The first time I saw these rankings, I thought I was looking at just like a, the global ranking, which is excluding the United States. Maybe this is just Asia and Australia, but I definitely didn't think this was including uh, schools in from the United States. And then we keep going, there's another school from China, and there we have a first school from the United States, which is Carnegie Mellon University which is one of the best schools in computer science historically. Uh, they have a really strong uh, computer science department. Then we have Stanford at number 12, tied with Carnegie Mellon, another school from China. We have Oxford, Sydney, uh, first university in the continent of Europe, uh, ETH Zurich, another Chinese university. Then we have Berkeley, another Chinese university, another one. Then we have finally MIT at uh, spot 22, which is extremely low for MIT. Then after MIT, we have more universities from China. And again, a lot of these universities I've never ever heard of. University of Toronto, which is actually quite famous in artificial intelligence because that's the home for Jeffrey Hinton, who's kind of like the father of deep learning. So that wouldn't be surprising at all, but it's ranked pretty low at number 48. And we have Cambridge 50, Harvard at 58. I'm sure they're pretty psyched about that. And it goes all the way down to number 100. So, uh, which is University of Tokyo. So if you go all the way up, you can kind of filter out. So if you click on China only, we can see that they have 49 out of 100 schools are from China. So you can remove the filter. They don't have a filter for United States, but I counted them manually and they have, so there's nine schools from United States in the 100 rated schools. India is particularly funny, they have one school. And what's really surprising about this school is that I've never heard of this school from India. India has few really strong universities, the Indian Institutes of Technology. So I would expect it would be one of those. I met several people from the IITs uh, during my grad school and they're all pretty solid. So it's uh, really interesting that now those made the list. You have two options about these rankings. You can believe the rankings. And in that case, China is going to absolutely dominate the AI field. Uh, 49 out of 100 best rated schools are in China. So all top Chinese students should definitely stay at home and go to one of their domestic universities. There's no point going to the United States. I mean, if there are lots of uh, Chinese schools in the top 10, why would you go to Stanford at MIT? And top students from the States and Europe should start considering applying in schools in China since uh, based on these rankings, that's where the best research is being done. And why would you go to inferior Stanford, MIT or Harvard if you can go to one of these prestigious schools in China? Option B is that you think these rankings are complete garbage and uh, you should not use this for any serious decisions. Uh, so let's kind of look at uh, how the rankings are done. So they have a nice long article about how this is done. So they use bibliometric indicators based on Web of Science for a five-year period. So they look at publications from 2016 to 2020. So this is for the rankings for year 22 to 23. So they say that overall there is uh, 21,000 uh, journals and they, uh, segregate them into 48 different subject fields. So the rankings for artificial intelligence are the first year ever. The journal articles considered for these rankings were published between 2016 and 2020, but they're taking all references uh, from these articles all the way up to June 28, 2022. That makes sense because if an article is published in 2020, you kind of want to give it at least a couple of years to rack out some citations uh, so you can see the impact on the field. And uh, they say that uh, they're publishing uh, new subject rankings. So they ranked 100 schools and these new rankings are in artificial intelligence and, and three other fields. In order to be ranked in artificial intelligence, the school had to publish at least 200 papers. So they ranked 142 uh, schools and they published the rankings for the top 100. And of these 149 were in China. They go into a lot of detail about how they weighed all these little different publications and citations. Uh, and also reputation. Uh, for artificial intelligence, they don't take in the count the reputation because it's a brand new ranking, so they only took uh, the information from the journals and the citations. Here's the blurb about artificial intelligence, so that they say it's new ranking. The subject area includes resources that focus on research and techniques to create machines that attempt to efficiently reason, problem solve, use knowledge representation, and analyze contradictory or ambiguous information. 
This category includes resources on artificial intelligence, technologies such as expert systems, fuzzy systems, natural language processing, speech recognition, pattern recognition, computer vision, decision support systems, knowledge bases, and neural networks. There's nothing wrong with this blurb. It's pretty generic. So it kind of uh, captures what the field is about. What I think is the biggest problem is that they don't say which journals they took the data for from for the artificial intelligence. So I don't have access to Web of Science, but I'm not entirely clear what constitutes a journal in artificial intelligence. There are clearly journals that are classified in artificial intelligence, but a lot of top artificial intelligence research has been published in uh, multidisciplinary journals. For example, one of the biggest breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, in my opinion, was AlphaFold, and that was published in Nature. Another one, which was the Alpha Tensor, was also published in Nature. Both of these publications were published by DeepMind, which are not schools, but doesn't really matter. So if a school publishes an article in Nature, Science, or Cell, which are super highly ranked, scientific journals, I assume this is not going to count for the artificial intelligence ranking. And if you're a top researcher in AI, you try to shoot for nature. I mean, why wouldn't you? If you have something really amazing, you try to put it in nature. So that might not count. So I assume that the Chinese universities are publishing really heavily in the AI specific journals. So to get their rankings up. Also, I think they're gaming the system a little bit. I think in China, the metrics are really important. There's so many people, there's so many universities. So they really focus on the metrics like impact factor citations. And you can artificially inflate your uh, impact of your research if you have a lot of friends who all cite each other. So let's say I publish 10 papers and I cite all my friends in those. And then when they publish their papers, I cite their papers. And it goes round and round and round. And all of us have a lot of uh, citations from all our papers, but it doesn't really mean that the work is high quality. It's kind of like a citation cartel. We all cite each other to inflate our numbers. But I'm absolutely shocked by the lack of representation from Indian schools in these rankings. Uh, India and China have roughly the same population. I think overall people do think that China is strong in artificial intelligence. But the fact that India only has one school in the entire ranking, it's, it's spot number 66, it's pretty incredible. Even if China is gaming the system, I'm surprised more Indian schools didn't make it into the ranking. So how about you? If you got into MIT at spot 22, and then for example, Harbin Institute of Technology at number six, which one would you choose? I imagine 99% of people would probably choose MIT. And I'm not saying that in China they don't do solid work, but I think it's very unlikely the, the, the Chinese dominance in AI is so much strong over the United States because if you look at what technologies actually people are using in AI, a lot of that is coming from the United States.